Well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to be with you and share the news with you, although this is kind of some disturbing news. I got to get this out because you have to understand narrative is what they're after. Okay, so we don't have uh, real reporting, honest reporting uh, out there from the mainstream or mainstream media, as I call them. We have narrative, and their narrative is designed to prop up these NWO candidates, okay, uh, these... Uh, Basically, it's 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 Marxist tactics. But here's the thing: I watched two clips from CTV, and this woman anchor. I got to be frank; I don't know her name. Uh, you know, I. But she she does this. You know, she's got the look right, and the look of concern. She's gravely concerned about one report was about lawlessness, lawlessness in Ottawa. Now that's humorous after they promoted all these other protests. Uh, and Trudeau was down there toppling statues. I know, right? Narrative, right? We understand that. I mean, he was there to topple a statue, and then they complain about a shirt being put on the Terry Fox statue and so on. I get all that. But that's what they're trying to use is for lawlessness. And Trudeau was on this, uh, the, the floor, and you guys probably saw some of the speech. It's a joke, okay? But he talks about destroying businesses and, uh, you know, uh, undermining democracy. Okay, really? I mean, so you are trying to break your own charter of rights, your own constitutional laws, if you will, in Canada, and now you want to talk about democracy. Okay, but here's the real bad one. The next report was on the children. Okay, this was an hour ago. Okay, so that they're doing right now is trying to make this about the kids who are down there with their parents. They estimate that 25% of the trucks have kids and they're worried about uh, carbon monoxide poisoning and diesel fumes. Truckers sleep in these trucks every night. There's no great concern about that. They are trying to manufacture this. Why? Because I'm a parent, I've got seven kids. There's nothing you won't do for your kids, okay? And they are trying to now scare the protesters as a move by whatever their child protective services, their CPS. I mean, it's all telegraph people. You got to see this coming. Okay. And this is why I talk about the bouncy house insurrection, hashtag bouncy house insurrection, start putting it out there because these kids, and then they said, and they're playing on this hill. This was part of the report. They're sliding on this hill where there's containers of diesel, not too far away. Okay. I, I don't know. You guys, you guys have a house. I mean, there'd be a container of diesel around where your kids walk or something at some point in time. This is absurd. It is complete hogwash, but they are running with it because what they are trying to do, they're desperate at this point. Look, I'm look, read this out of the, the daily mail. Okay. To show you how, why they're becoming so desperate out of the daily, daily mail, hardly a bastion of conservatism. Here's the headline. Freedom truckers say Trudeau and the liberal media are falsely demonizing them as ultra right wing crazies. And after spending a week in their midst, the Mail's reporter can only conclude that these good natured protesters are 100% right about that. This out of the Daily Mail. Okay, one more time. Freedom truckers say Trudeau and the liberals are falsely demonizing them as, as ultra right wing crazies that the reporter spent a week with them and said that these good-natured protesters, they're 100% correct about their being demonized, okay? Just a couple other little bylines out of this story I wanted to share with you because this is, what, what's happening is their narrative is crumbling. They're trying to find a new one, people. They're trying to find a new narrative. And the new narrative right now is, it's for the children. It's for the children. It's for the children. No. It's for their control. Okay, look, we've got Kenny over there saying he's lifting all these mandates. I'll read the fine print on that. He's not, okay? So <coughs> I don't think the truckers at the border in Coots are gonna leave based upon what Kenny said there. They're leaving a back door open to put in more draconian lockdowns and not. And they're still leaving the QR code up. It's, it's they're caving, I understand this, okay? So ugh, this stuff frustrates me because these, they're sending in jackbooted thugs from their feds. Um, they're, they're trying to make a power play on all this stuff. And then they're falsely saying that, oh, this, so the problem goes away. They just need the problem to go away so they can bring in more of their feds to man the borders. That's ultimately what they're trying to do. They just arrested uh, Pastor Arter again. And you know why? Because this guy 
He, I mean, he, if you guys haven't listened to him, you gotta find some of his stuff because he's inspiring. Uh, he's, he's a freedom fighter. He's lived through tyranny, okay? And so he's motivating. And so they go to his house, raid it, arrest him, uh, you know, and then they're arresting people on quote unquote hate crimes. They are, they are at their wits and desperate. And then a, a headline like this comes out. It's falling apart. So they are just, I'm telling you, they, they, you can read them. They telegraph their moves because they got to soften the people up for this first, okay? Because who wants to see a bunch of children dragged out of there and taken away from their parents? But if they soften it enough, like, oh, the children are in danger, they feel they can get away with it. Don't let them get away with it, okay? Look, bouncy house insurrection. The kids are having fun. They're sliding. They're doing things. Diesel fumes. Let's make sure that we make the point that truckers are always sleeping in their trucks. Good night. They sleep at truck stops all the time. There's not some big danger of carbon monoxide poisoning in diesel, okay? The exhaust, have you guys seen a trucker's exhaust system? It sends it up in the air. Do you honestly think all these parents would be endangering their children? Who loves the parents more than the parents? Only God. But otherwise, these parents who are down there with their children in solidarity and actually teaching their children something very valuable, and that's probably what the government's more concerned about than anything, which is to stand up for your rights, to embrace freedom. Freedom, okay? Because it is for freedom, okay, that we have been set free. Okay, anyways. Um, Canadian truckers blasted. Uh, the government and Ottawa police Monday after members of their Freedom Convoy protests were arrested and charged with hate crimes. Okay, the protesters also strongly denied they have ties to these ultra right wing hate groups, okay, as it were, insisting they are just ordinary truckers trying to make a living. Imagine that. Isn't it nice to be able to make a living? Do you know what's happened? We're at a point now in history and in society where everybody's so lulled by pensions and their, their health care benefits and all this stuff that they have forgotten what it means to be free. I don't know why, but freedom beats in my veins. Like, I don't know. I, I remember one time uh, I was driving down the road and my boss was going to change uh, my, uh, my sales, uh, how, I, how I sold my whole process uh, arbitrarily without even talking to me. I was ready to leave that day. I called him up and I said, what are you doing? I said, I'm out of here. I was their top sales guy. There was no reason for them to be doing this, but they, they thought they could pull this on me. Well, I called my wife and I said, I'm done. And she's like, oh, okay. I mean, this was a, this was a high paying job. Uh, it was down in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And I was just, I, I'll go find something else, okay? But we're at a point now where everybody's so concerned about their retirement. Retirement's a myth anyways, people. I mean, most people, you know, they don't do well in retirement. You need to live life with a purpose. It's a whole other subject, okay, I could go off on, but I won't. Um, and, you know, Justin Trudeau and his government like to paint us protesters as right-wing conspiracists associated with QAnon, but we aren't. We're far from it, the trucker said, and so on. Uh, the, then, the other thing. They're going with the destroying business narrative? They're concerned about the truckers destroying business. After for the last two years, they have been bringing businesses down and now they're concerned about it? Are you kidding me? So I love these truckers. Most of them are independent owner operators. They are freedom minded people. And that's what's taking place here. This is the great fight between freedom and totalitarianism. And Justin Trudeau is acting like a little dictator. But people from his own party are even beginning to break with him. Joel Lightbound made a great statement. People of Canada, you need to email him and thank him. Anytime somebody stands up, you need to thank them. You need to keep moving that needle forward, especially when they're on the opposition party and come out and say that many of us have been concerned with this. Now, Trudeau is gonna to try to whip them in line because you know I'm sure he's getting another call from, from uh, good old Klaus Schwab. What is wrong, you idiot? Okay, I mean, it's going on, okay? I mean, you know, we, we paid for more than this, okay? Just, just people, this, Trudeau had the audacity to make this comment. Mandates are the way to end these restrictions. Really? Really? Because that's worked for the last two years. Really? Okay, 
he is playing a little dictator. People, you, you've got to see this is coming and you've got to counter that. Man, hashtag it, bouncy house insurrection, post pictures of kids having fun and bouncy houses. I'm telling you, you got to get out in front of this one. It's, this is their plan. They are telegraphing their move. You know, they, they run around with this swastika and Confederate flag crap. Who even had those there? I mean, the guy with the mask that got kicked the heck out of Dodge? Really? The only one you couldn't see his face? Probably a Fed. I saw another one uh, guy, uh, guy said, oh yeah, we had a Fed trying to, trying to incite us into action. It was a great video on YouTube. Uh, I caught that last night. I mean, look at my hair is all screwed up. Look, I've been, I got little sleep last night. I had that flat tire, which <laughs> in the middle of nowhere and couldn't get the stupid thing off because my tire iron was bending. And then, uh, and then the truck was shaking. I think I've got a bad U-joint I gotta get fixed. So I'm just trying to get this out real quick here today. But hey, do remember, please, um, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack, saves you up to 66%, but right now they have 60% off the sheets. It's the biggest sale ever on those Giza sheets. They are phenomenal. Um, and then also 50% uh, off the slippers and the, uh, the pillow, uh, the mattress topper. They're phenomenal products, uh, supporting a, a great company. Uh, a lot of the products made right here in Minnesota. Anyways, thanks so much, people. Remember, subscribe if you haven't. I love you all. Peace out.